Hi guys, welcome back. Driving out here in the garden. This is my corn patch. It's a 4x8 bed and I have probably, I don't know, 125 or so stalks in here, which is extremely densely planted. This is not something you'd want to do if you were a commercial gardener, but it was an experiment. Um, I was concerned that because it was so closely planted that the pollen wouldn't actually reach down through the density of plants into you know, to get to the individual stalks or the individual corn silks. And then I noticed, let's see if I can get it to focus here. See all that yellow dust on that leaf? That's all pollen. And if I look through here, even down there, I can see a whole bunch of the pollen piled up on these leaves. And even in the densest, the center part, you can still see the pollen piled up on the leaves, so I am no longer concerned about it. Um, I actually do go through and I pluck off one of the, uh, I believe this is a stamen, and the pistils are the little silks there, but basically the, the male part that produces the pollen, I take one of those, and I just run it through and and literally just try and get pollen off onto the, the silks. And since this is a small enough bed, I can actually do this without too much, it doesn't bother me. If I was a commercial grower and I had acres of this, that's, that's really an, an unviable. But one of the things that I actually w learned is that I don't know if you've ever felt corn leaves before, but there's a grain to the, there's a texture to the leaf. And actually you can, I don't know if you can see the, the sun shining off of the little fibers here. If I roll it back and forth in the sun, can you see the shimmering of the, there's, there's a bunch of tiny fibers and they all go one direction. So when you, when you roll backwards, it kind of sticks. And now it's not prickly by any stretch, but you can feel it. Um, with your fingers. And what's interesting is I thought that this pollen would just blow away in the wind, but these, <laughs> it doesn't. And that's because all these little fibers are trapping it and keeping it close to the plant, which is okay. I didn't know that. I, I knew about the texture, but it actually serves an evolutionary purpose. I thought that was cool. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, well, that was it for today. Y'all have fun in your gardens. Bye.